Okay, so how do I switch this from here? Share. Sh girls, come on, come on, get on point. A lot of you just yap away. I'll just share the main screen, whatever it is. So it should work. There we go. So whatever is on here should appear. Okay. Um, so it says no, the probability of A is 0.3. The event B is independent. Event B is independent of A. So the, the probability of B equals to 0.4. Now, part A says calculate um, the probability of A or B or both occur. Let me close that because they're kind of annoying. Ugh. How you doing? All right, event C is defined to be the event that neither A nor B occurs. So I'll go ahead and write that down. So, uh, you know what? Let me just give some space here. Let me do it right. Event C is defined to be event to be the event that neither A nor B occurs. So then for part B, they say uh, calculate the probability of C given A prime, where A is the event that A does not occur. So basically you have this, let me see, go up here. Let's see if it's at least on there. It is, Just give it a second. Come on computer. It's gonna load eventually, there it is. So that's, that's the question when it appears, obviously. Yes. Okay, don't tell her that I hope she feels better. Okay, so do you guys have an idea how to do this? How you do probability of A or B? So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna write it out for you. Remember, the probability of A or B must equal the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. Now, a few notes here. Event B, and I didn't spell independent right. I kind of missed a bunch of letters. Independent. So the pro if event B is independent of A, a few things are true. Now you got to be careful here. The probability of B given A must equal the probability of A. However, they didn't say, they didn't say that event B and A were mutually exclusive. Since it didn't say it was mutually exclusive, this means that the probability of A and B must be equal to the probability of A times the probability of B. So this is important. This is tied into the notion of independence. <laughs> See, if it was not, if it was not, independent oh wait i'm in a mistake here if it was was not independent then the probability of a and b would have been probability of a times the probability of uh, b given a but we don't have that we don't have that so that, that's enough for you to do that, that part of the question. I'll pause the recording for you to try. 
those of you who are interested in trying, or at least pretending to try. Okay, guys, you gotta you gotta figure this out. A lot of you are not putting in the work that's necessary. Now, part B says event C is defined to be the event that neither A nor B occurs. So what does that mean? What does event C is defined to be the event that neither A nor B occurs? So a lot of us can interpret this as the probability. Well, let's, let's just say it. If A or B don't occur, so what does that mean? Okay, so let, let me just draw it like this. We know A is here, we know B is here, right? C is this guy, right? So you would say that C equals not, not, this means not, A or B. You see? Like, how would you write not? Squiggly line. That's what it is. So now, this is, the, this is the part where you have to parse it out. For instance, if you remember, well, you don't remember, but let's just say you, you, you would have remembered um, the probability of A and B divided by the probability of B equals the probability of A given B. Or do you see what I'm saying? Or, or vice versa, you can say you can also say that the probability probability of B given A equals the probability of A and B uh, divided by the probability of A. So if you look at, at this guy here, you should say that this is the probability of A prime, which, which means not A, but I'll just go ahead and define that. A prime and C, divided by the probability of a prime. What a prime means is it means it's complement. What's not a. So I guess for this book, we we'll, won't we'll use squiggly lines. Let's just change it to a or b prime. So I changed instead of squiggly line, I put prime. Prime means squiggly line, not. Or the complement, what's left over. Same thing as prime. prime. Mm -hmm. yeah, prime. Yes, prime. So prime is meaning not. Correct. Cool. All right, so let's try answering it. So we started with these givens here. You see these givens? All right, and this is another given. And then what I said is, hey, listen, the probability of A or B must equal, what's the probability of A equal to? Point three. What's the probability of B equal to? Point four. What's the probability of A and B equal to? Well, to figure it out, you would have to take point four times point three. Point four times point three. That's point twelve. So it's minus point twelve. So you got point seven minus point twelve. What's point seven minus point twelve? Point fifty eight. That's your answer. So now see if you can if you can piece together the next one. Okay, so let's take a look at part B. 
Does everybody see how I how I use this rules, the original rule probability of A given B, the multiplication rule to ascertain what the probability of C given A prime must equal to? Look, if the probability of A given B equals the probability of A and B divided by probability of B, therefore the probability of C given A prime must equal the probability of A prime and C divided by the probability of A prime. It's the same thing. I'm just rewriting the same thing. So that's the first step. You need to know those formulas. And then you ask yourself, well, well what is probability? What, what is this here? Like, what is that? Well, uh, the easiest way to do this is to realize this. You have A. You have B. Agreed? Now, you just figured out that this piece here was 0.12, didn't you? Isn't that A and B? All right, now, what was the probability of A? It was 0.3. What's 0.3 minus 0 0.12? 0 0.18, agreed? So now you know that this piece here has 0.18. If you take 0.18 plus 0.12, you have 0.3, agreed? Now, B was what? 0.4. But 0.12 of it is taken up between A and B. So 0.4 minus 0.12 is 0.28. Now, in total, between A and B, you have 0.28 plus 0.12 plus 0.18. What does that come out to? We, we already solved this. What was it? Point. 0.58. So you know between A, A or B must be 0.58. What's left over? What's 1 minus 0.58? Uh, Out here, everything that's not A or B is 0.42. Wait, What's point, what's, you saw a point, what was A? A was 0.30, right? 0.3. What's 0.3 minus 0.12? Oh, okay. You see it? Now, you see that outside there? That's not A or B. It is C. Guess what the probability of A, and A prime and C is? What is the intersection between not A and C is? So here's what we do. What's not A? Can you tell me everything that's not A? I'm going to shade it in red. What about here? Can I shade this part here? Or is that also A? Oh, so it has to be this guy. What else is not A? And outside. Could you please take 0.42 and add 0.28? What do you get? So 0 0.28 plus 0 0.42, that's going to be zero, carry the one, 0.70, agreed? All right, that's not A. That's not A. Now, what is not A and C equal to? What is the intersection between not A and C? What's not A at the same time being C? Remember, this outside here is C. C is outside of A or B. What's the intersection between not A and C, or A prime and C. No, it's, it's 0.42. What's C? Not A, not A is 0.28 plus 0.42, agreed? What is the intersection between C and not A? Who is C and not A at the same time? C wow. itself, because because C is not it's not it's not A, can't be A, not A. Do you see it? And now you take 0.42 and divide it by 0 0.70. 0 0.42 divided by 0.70, and it's 0.6. By the way, that's the answer. But you see how it's weird. And the only way you get good at this is by doing it, getting it wrong, figuring it out, redoing it, and doing more problems. It's probability is hard. 
whenever when I started teaching ACE, I went to one of those things and you had the British people there and they're like teaching us how to do it. And I'm like, hey, how about probabilities? Like they're not good at probability over there either. <laughs> it's just like that. Like they all nobody gets it. It's it's weird. But it's not hard though. If you saw there's not a lot of math going on here. It's just thinking. Like, think about it. What's not a well, the thing is, did you even figure out these numbers here? That's the that's the first thing. If you didn't get this far, not a is gonna be B and C. B or C. I have to say or you gotta be careful. So this one and this one. Now, what's not, what's, what's not A and C? Well, it has to be, okay, not A is also C. It's a part of C. Do you see it? And so it has to be 0.42, and that's the secret here. Now, the question is, can you get to that part? That's what's important here. Can you piece together everything to make that happen? And that's where we're going to get stuck in. So let me pause Yes, let me find another question so you guys can maybe model it after this one and try and do it, and then I'll review it with you. And then I'm going to have to try and find stuff for you guys. 